Some people collect matchbooks. Some people collect salt and pepper shakers. But beer cans? Got a seven to 8,000 personal can collection myself. My collection is approximately 24,000. I personally have about 2,000. 2,000 beer cans. Mm -hmm. Yep, beer cans. And they brought their collections to the Grand Glaze Resort recently to show them off. It's the BCCA. A little history, please. <laughs> well, we used to be the beer can collectors of America back when we, we formed in the early 70s. Yeah. But people collect more than just beer cans, so we changed our name and kept the initials. We're the Brewery Collectible Club of America. We collect everything hat related to beer. How far back does a beer can go in history? Well, they first put beer in cans and marked it in 1934. Well, 1934. Uh, originally, they test marketed one, and then they really started coming out in 1935. And I have some cans that uh, were produced in 1935. What was the label then? This one was the Kruger Brewing Co uh, it was Kruger Beer from the Gottfried Kruger Brewing Company in Newark, New Jersey. Now, you probably think that beer can collecting is a guy thing, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> now, it seems to me that it would be unusual for a woman to collect beer cans. Yes. <laughs> Why do you do it? Um, because I enjoy it very much. I, I uh, found the uh, interest at age 14. That, that was right? in 1977. Um, so, and I've been collecting actively ever since. I've got a seven to 8,000 personal can collection myself. Um, and I, I like detail things about cans, the histories of them. You might be surprised to learn that early beer cans weren't flat on both ends. The cone tops were, um, were made between 1935 and about 1955. And basically when um, uh, companies started to put uh, beer in, in cans, a lot of the smaller breweries didn't want to um, uh, change the bottling mechanism. So what they did, they put a cone on top of a steel can, cap sealed and ran into the machine that way. So whether it's steins, cans, signs, uh, bottles, coasters, uh, caps that go on the bottles, we collect all that. So there's a lot more to it than just cans. There's a lot more than just cans, yeah. Bob Spicer, Lake TV.